Hi everybody. In this webinar, we will be discussing two issues. The first one is how to create an animated story or a presentation concerning a specific topic or subject. And in the second part, we'll be discussing how to create a game. Let me uh, first start with the first uh, part which is how to create a story or a presentation in scratch and as we all know by working with your students uh, on a story you will be uh, uh, linking the ICT the coding part with the steam which is uh, the science technology engineering uh, arts and math and uh, of course students will be developing skills in communication in dialogue in creation in order to create the script of a story and how to finalize it and to present it for the classroom as a final product so uh, let me start by uh, introducing the concept of creating a story which is uh, uh, divided into three main parts the first part will be the scene or the script the second part will be the backgrounds and the th third part will be the uh, scripts or the sprite sorry or uh, the personage that will be animating uh, the story or the presentation so the first one is the uh, script which is what is the idea of the story and here students uh, must develop this part on a paper by creating uh, several presentation by uh, an introduction a dialogue uh, and they have to refer to uh, a specific research maybe they have to ask uh, their teacher in in Arabic language or in English or any other language in order to to develop this script or the idea of uh, the the story and why not to not to link it with something that that uh, are uh, uh, working on with a science teacher or a math teacher or biology or even uh, languages uh, depending on the level of the students so uh, uh, regarding the script nothing to do with the uh, scratch I mean it's a, a preparation part that should be done before working on scratch once the script is, uh, uh, is created here students can imagine how many uh, backgrounds they need and what are the personage or the uh, persons uh, that actors that uh, uh, should be inserted in the anim uh, animated story or the presentation so as you can see here on your uh, uh, screen i have my uh, scratch uh, 3.0 the desktop application the latest uh, scratch application and I have the sprite which is the cat and the background which is white uh, uh, below on the right uh, on the bottom screen you have two buttons which are the choose a sprite or choose a backdrop here the backdrop is the background so uh, you have by clicking on the choose a backdrop four options i will be concentrating on three which is uh, the first one choose a backdrop paint a backdrop or you upload a backdrop so i'll start by the simplest one which is choose a backdrop once i click i have all the list of backdrops uh, available uh, in scratch so all I have to do is to select one and as you can see the backdrop is displayed on my screen now if I want to add more than one backdrop 
I'll click again. I select the paint. Uh, I choose, let's say, the brush with any of the colors, and I try to uh, draw. Let's say I, I select here uh, a different color. I have to convert it to bitmap as you can see here. And then I can uh, draw or fill a, a closed area. I can draw, let's say, a sun. I can choose the color and so on. So uh, uh, as you can see, I can uh, create using all the uh, 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 drawing tools a specific uh, backdrop that is not listed in my uh, library of backdrops. And then after, the third option is to upload a backdrop. So uh, here you have to go to uh, Google to search for a specific uh, backdrop and from uh, uh, what you collect you can select as you can see here and you can open uh, and it might be smaller than the uh, uh, original backdrop so all you have to do is is to uh, select it by selecting uh, the select tool as you can see here then i press on shift and i make it bigger in order to to fill it on the entire uh, background so uh, uh, by that you can see here from the layer backdrops I uh, inserted I have the original one the white one I can delete it no need for it so I have for the time being the blue sky which is from the library of uh, uh, the backdrops the second one backdrop two, which is a backdrop that I've drawn and then the th third one is the uh, picture of a desert that I've collected from uh, Google so and of course I have all the tools I remind you of the uh, uh, of the uh, manipulation and the drawing so for the time being these are the three options I have for the backdrops. Now comes the time to program uh, the backdrops. Let's say uh, when I want to display a specific backdrop according to the script of my uh, um, of my story. So I have to go to the uh, code section. I select the uh, event section. I move the when the green flag is clicked so I go for looks and I have the switch backdrop to which is let's say I want to start my my uh, backdrop uh, backgrounds with the blue sky for let's say 15 seconds I select the control I move the weight block I will not make it for 15 now it's uh, too long for the demonstration and then after I will go to look I will move the switch backdrop to uh, backdrop to then I will duplicate the two blocks and then after I will change here to the third one the cartoon now my 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 part of creating and programming the background or the backdrop is done i've insert three backdrops i've program how to switch and at any time i can go back to any of the backdrops by selecting the block switch backdrop two and specify the name so here when i click on the uh, go look how after five seconds i will be switching to the second backdrop and then after for the third backdrop which is very good till now so concerning the part of creating and programming the stage or the backdrop it's done now i have to concentrate on what we call the sprites 
or the personage or the uh, uh, the animators that will be creating the story so as you can see here I have by default the cat I can move it of course I can click on the choose a sprite like I've did before for the backdrop I can select choose a sprite from my library I can even draw a sprite or I can upload a sprite from also from Google so I'll be now uh, concentrating on choosing a sprite from uh, from the library so as you can see here it's a girl called Abby and then all I have to do is to uh, maybe reduce a little bit the size to uh, 80 okay and imagine that I have to create a specific a specific let's say uh, dialogue or conversation between the two uh, uh, sprites the cat and the girl so of course I have to select uh, the the cat if I want to start with the cat and in the section code I select the uh, event and then when the green flag is clicked okay I uh, have to uh, let's say uh, in, in looks uh, say hello for uh, four seconds and I can of course change hello Abby for four seconds okay and then after four seconds Abby should answer so I click on Abby I move the uh, uh, event block but here I have to make the girl wait for let's say five seconds since uh, uh, the cat will be uh, uh, displaying the message hello Abby for four seconds so it means th that the girl should wait four seconds uh, five seconds uh, before displaying the message so wait for five seconds and then uh, move hello cat how are you today for two seconds okay let's try to to run the script so I will click on the go as you can see we are back to the first background after saying the hello Abby uh, 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 the girl will display and I'll make it for like five seconds and I will run it again hello Abby then after cat ha hello cat how are you today and the backgrounds are playing of course I can make I can make the cat move I can make uh, uh, I can make uh, the cat the sprites talk by uh, saving or recording my voice so I will be doing doing it so uh, hello Abby uh, four seconds and then in motion uh, let's say uh, I have to uh, make the 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 cat so I will make the cat uh, uh, move uh, or let's say uh, for for ten for ten uh, repetition, I will make uh, the uh, looks next costume. Okay, and by moving, let's say uh, uh, five steps, I will try to make it and then hello Abby and then after as you can see the cat moves now I can continue the dialogue I mean I have to make a, a specific calculation of time I mean if the cat uh, display for four seconds uh, the message then Abby will display for uh, uh, five seconds so here we are like for 10 seconds so after 10 seconds 
or after five seconds here i have to make it wait for let's say uh, six seconds in order to make a better control and then uh, i will make it uh, uh, i will make the the cat display uh, uh, another message how is the weather for two seconds so i will make it again hello abby the cat will move hello Cathy, how are you today and then after as you can see how is the weather now i'll move to the sound and if you wish to record a new sound you can click on the layer sound you can click on uh, the button record i will click on record and here i am recording my voice in order to use it in the uh, uh, in my story i will click on stop then i will save it i can i okay i click on save it's recording uh, one so i go to uh, the code section and then I can from sound I can move the uh, block play sound and from here you can see that the uh, recorded voice is added to the list it's recording one so I click I move uh, the block here I click on play hello Abby hello cat how are you today I did a mistake so I have to select the recording one and as you can see here so as you can see here I will not make it uh, longer the explanation uh, you can add all the uh, multimedia uh, 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 skills that you have like animation like uh, like uh, recording the sound the backgrounds the sprite drawing in order to make uh, a, a story or a presentation still you have to uh, find the uh, let's say ideas or uh, you find the uh, what to make as a story or as a presentation uh, in order to be attractive and here I can uh, highly uh, ask you uh, if your students uh, did really something interesting is to send it us and we'll be publishing them on our social media platforms like Facebook Instagram and TikTok so uh, this is the first part uh, of how to uh, the tools needed to create a, a story so uh, i'll be ending this uh, this part and then after i will be uh, uh, processing with a new part which is creating a game thank you